Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The cabinet held its weekly meeting today, chaired by Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa at Qadibiya Palace. Following the session, the Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser delivered the following statement. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak reviewed the annual report of the National Audit Office of 2018 to 2019 and the Cabinet decided to refer the report to the Coordination Committee to oversee the verification of its substantive observations and recommendations in accordance with the mechanism established during the review of the previous reports. He expressed thanks to all ministries and government authorities that did not receive comments in the report for their compliance with laws and administrative resolutions. He also directed the ministries and government authorities who did receive comments in the report to receive them and take measures to resolve them. The cabinet followed up on implement, implementing the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to employ do doctors who are out of work and new graduates and integrate them into the government and private sectors. The cabinet discussed the initiatives and solutions implemented in this regard in cooperation and coordination with concerned authorities. The Cabinet directed the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to submit periodic reports on the efforts to employ new graduate doctors in cooperation and coordination with the Ministry of Health in order for the Cabinet to follow up on the work course in this regard. The Cabinet congratulated the government and people of Kuwait on this occasion of the return of its Emir, His Highness Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, to his country following the successful medical checkups. The cabinet also congratulated the Tunisian president, Qais Saeed, on the occasion of his election win, wishing Tunisia further progress and prosperity. The cabinet discussed the establishment of an authority for renewable energy based on His Majesty's wishes. The cabinet approved changes to the structures of the tender board of the National Oil and Gas Authority, the Ministry of Information Affairs, and the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. The Cabinet approved honoring Bahrain's commitments to the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. It also approved the Executive Regulations for the General Sanitation Law 10 of 2019 to govern the waste disposal practices. The Cabinet approved a Memorandum of Understanding signed between Bahrain and Belarus to facilitate bilateral cooperation in the field of tourism. The Cabinet approved the government response on two recommendations submitted by the Council of Representatives on running a health 24-hour health centre and working hours during Ramadan in government ministries and authorities. The President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and Chairman of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, held a press conference today on the occasion of issuing the Bahrain Real Estate Valuation Standards and Real Estate Measurement Standards. Sheikh Salman noted that these standards were approved based on international standards on a unified scientific basis. He also noted that the valuation standards will unify the basis of valuation for all real estate appraisers in Bahrain, which will be based on scientific and international standards. He affirmed that adopting these standards will create a su sustainable and attractive investment environment that guarantees local and foreign capital. He added it will also achieve transparency and credibility in the real estate market, which is considered one of the most important non-oil economic sector in the Bahraini economy that the government depends on to increase its contributions to the GDP to achieve the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that aim to provide the best initiatives and policies that place Bahrain among leading and developed countries for further growth and prosperity for the Bahraini people. Sheikh Salman expressed thanks and appreciation to the government led by His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and to the Coordinating Committee led by His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for implementing real estate programs and projects. He also expressed thanks to the head of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Project, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Isam Khalaf, for the Ministry's cooperation. The Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, Managing Director for Europe, Middle East and Africa, Robert Jackson, affirmed that the Bahraini government was the first in the Middle East to support the standards. He also congratulated the Bahraini government and RIRA for the development in the field of real estate valuation standards and real estate measurement standards. <coughs> The 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, acting Assistant Secretary of the Bureau of International Security and Non-Proliferation at the United States Department of State and Head of U.S. Delegation, C.S. Eliot Kang, and the State Secretary at the Ministry of Interior and Administration of the Delegation, Head of the Polish Delegation, Krzysztof Kozlowski, inaugurated today the Warsaw Process Working Group on Maritime and Aviation Security. The event is hosted by Bahrain in partnership with the United States and Poland. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, Minister of Defense Affairs, Major General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, and the Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq al Hassan, also attended the session. The Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation for the efforts of the United States and Poland in organizing this working group and other groups following the meetings and workshops held last February in Warsaw. The minister noted that the working group comes in light of the serious threats facing the region and the whole world, stressing the need to take a collective stance to condemn such acts. He expressed hope that this meeting will support cooperation between the various countries of the world to protect maritime and aviation security and find effective means to address the growing threats, ensure security for the countries of the region, and achieve stability of the global economy. Elliot Kang conveyed the greetings of U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, praising Bahrain's hosting of this meeting, which aims to promote common security interests in the region and the world. He also stressed the importance of joining international efforts to maintain maritime and aviation security. Krzysztof Kozlowski expressed his country's pride in its partnership with Bahrain and the United States in organizing this meeting. Under the patronage of the capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the fifth edition of Manama Entrepreneurship Week was launched by Bahrain's capital governorate in partnership with Timkin. More on this report with Habib Abdul Ghaffar. In its fifth edition, Manama Entrepreneurship Week organizes 15 workshops and specialized discussion sessions presented by more than 30 speakers from all over the world, during which they discuss different aspects related to entrepreneurship, such as the future of sustainability in Bahrain, the innovation in modern technology, and much more, targeting 5,000 participants. Manama Entrepreneurship Week is a fantastic way for businesses to showcase themselves. Um, I think Bahrain offers a great breeding ground for entrepreneurs to do well and I think events like this uh, hosted in association with Capital Governorate is, uh, are fantastic for entrepreneurs like myself and others in the region. Year after year, ambitious entrepreneurs use this platform to meet a selection of experts and specialists that share their expertise to enhance the participants' abilities and help them translate their ideas into reality. Uh, we are getting the new techniques and technologies of how to develop our business in, uh, uh, in the region. Uh, today, entrepreneurs are not only uh, in Bahrain, they need to go uh, to, uh, to the world to, to show what is Bahraini entrepreneurs can do more. So we are learning from uh, uh, whatever people around the world have done uh, to develop their business and what is the technique they have used for that. The Capital Governorate strives in every edition to keep pace with the latest advancements in the entrepreneurship sector in order to enable participants to benefit from modern experiences and to strive for innovation and excellence in their own practices. It's uh, good to be part of these events to understand what is going on in the market because entrepreneurs are the ones that are taking the economy forward, that are you know, looking for creative ways of implementing these new technologies. So we are both contributing but also we are learning from the community. Moreover, the most innovative application competition was held in collaboration with EBW 2020 and Batelco. WCCI, the first of its kind application in the Middle East to respond to domestic violence, won the prize. I think Manam Week is one of the most uh, famous events in, uh, uh, in the Bahrain and we think attend this event can help us know more entrepreneurship and more businessmen so it will be help a lot for our business. The activities of Manama Week are consistent with Bahrain's government approach to supporting the field of entrepreneurship and empowering small and medium enterprises as a major driver of the national economy and enable them to enhance their competitiveness locally, regionally and internationally in addition to increasing their contribution to GDP.
The fifth edition of Marama Entrepreneurship Week continues to organize workshops and specialized discussions by experts from all over the world. Here today, aiming to develop the entrepreneurship sector, which is essential for driving development. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffour. The National Bureau for Revenue held an interactive VAT workshop recapping general VAT concepts. The attendees were given the opportunity to visit a unique interactive demo center that provides innovative learning experiences to ensure effective implementation of VAT. Today's workshop is a continuation of a series of workshops to provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders from the public and private sectors in order to increase awareness of VAT.